Hello and welcome to the video on how a wave cut platform is formed. It's aimed at year sevens, so let's get started. The first thing we need is a sea cliff because you find wave cut platforms at the seaside. Then we need the sea. Here is my sea. Then we need some waves. Okay, waves are full of energy and they travel in until they hit something. In this case, they're going to hit our cliff face. And the energy from the wave is transferred into the cliff face. Imagine that being a hammer. Every wave that hits the bottom of that cliff is like a hammer pounding against the cliff. After a few million waves, the cliff is going to start to break down. This is called hydraulic action. And you'll start to see <clears throat> In the bottom of the cliff, a little hollow forming, and the waves push inside, still wearing away at it. But also, you'll find rocks off the cliff face that's collapsed inside there that the waves bounding around, bashing and knocking against each other. Right? And these rocks are called attrition, yeah. and they get some. They get worn down into sand and shale and gravel and grit. And that inside there works as abrasion like sandpaper. So it acts like sandpaper rubbing against the rock. So it speeds up the process. And eventually those particles off the cliff wear down so small that you can't see them. And they disappear and to a solution. They dissolved into the water, a bit like sugar. When you put sugar into water, hot water, and you stir it, the sugar disappears. It's the same thing, they get so small that they disappear into the water, not to be seen. And eventually, after all this wave action, this erosion takes place, the cliff, under its own weight, cracks. And all this, falls off into the sea. So let's rub that off. And we have a new cliff face. And this is the old floor here. So we'll just line, don't line that whole floor, there we are. So this is the old cliff falling into the sea. The old cliff slowly wears down for erosion and becomes sand and gravel and rock and bits of grit and moves along the coast where it goes out to sea. But this action continues. The waves keep coming. The holes keep forming. Waves keep coming. Relentless. Holes keep forming. Depending on how hard the rock is, depends on how long this will take. And also depends on how much energy there is in the waves. Until eventually again, under its own weight, it cracks and falls away into the sea, forming a new cliff face. You can see along here, this is where my original cliff was, along here we have a flat section. And this flat section here is called a wave cut. Flat form. And that, in its basic explanation, is how a wave cut flat platform is formed. We'll talk more about it in class. Have a go at drawing that diagram and explaining the sequence to somebody else. And I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye. 